Hey, 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 Bible Activities for Kids family. I want to welcome you to episode number 13 of our Bible in a Year series. And today, 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 we've got a story for you. A story that comes from Numbers 21. I want you to grab your Bibles. We're going to be reading Numbers 21 verse 8. I'll give you some time to find the Bible verse. All right, I think you would have found it by now. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. And it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. And it shall be that everyone who is bitten when he looks at it shall live. Now, I don't know if you like snakes. Do any of you like snakes? Oh, I see a few hands going up in my imagination that some of you do like snakes, but most of you don't. Well, you know what? Our story today has a snake in it, and it starts when the people began to complain. Now, are any of you complainers? Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like you say, you know, it's too hot, it's too cold, I'm bored. And you've got a problem with everything. Well, you know what? That's what was happening in our story. The people, they were getting discouraged as they were on their journey. And they started to say some bad things about God and about Moses. They were saying things like, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There's no food, there's no water, and we hate this worthless bread. You know, they were really complaining, and God didn't like it. And you know what God did? He sent fiery snakes among the people, and the snakes began to bite the people. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, can you imagine being bitten by a snake? Well, you know, there's some poisonous snakes, and when you get bitten by them... You know what happens? People die. And when the snake started to bite the people, many of the people died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned because we spoke against the Lord and we spoke against you. Can you pray to the Lord and ask him to take the snakes from us? Well, Moses prayed to God, but do you think God took the snakes away? Well, I know some of you said yes, but that's not really what happened. What happened is what we read in our Bible verse. The Lord told Moses that he should make a snake and he should put it on a pole. And everyone who got bitten by the snakes, if they looked on that snake on the pole, they would live. And that's what Moses did. And so everyone who looked at the serpent that Moses made and put on the pole, if they were bitten, they lived. Now I hear some of you saying, Auntie Sam, that's a weird story. What type of story is that? Well, you know what it is found in the Bible. And this story is An important story because it also illustrates something that happens in the New Testament in our Bible. You know, when it comes around to Easter time, a lot of Christians, they celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And just the same way that this snake was put on a pole and whoever looked on it, they lived. In the New Testament, when Jesus died, he died on a cross, which we can say was a pole. And all of us have been bitten by the snake of sin. And you know what? When we look to Jesus, Jesus who died on that pole, on that cross, then we can live. You know, the Bible tells us in John three sixteen that God so loved the world that he gave his 
only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Boys and girls, today, the message I want to leave with you is that you should look to Jesus and ask him to come into your heart so that you can have eternal life. Until next time, boys and girls, God bless you all abundantly and see you in our next podcast. Take care. Thank you.